forces. The night of March 28th, Officer Cody Despain was on his way to a domestic violence call. Before he could get to the scene, he spotted the suspect, James Woods. In an investigative report, we learned Woods was driving 78 miles per hour and accelerating when the crash happened. 121 Baker, he's going north. He just wrecked into a police cruiser. Woods crashed into the cruiser that Officer Nick Rodman was driving. Rodman died the next day. Dude, what f happened to me? I don't know. That's what I was wondering, baby. You don't remember? No. In a phone call from jail, we hear Woods telling a woman about what he remembers the night of the crash. I was getting chased, and, you know, he doing his job, I'm doing mass. And, of course, you know, I, I can't stand and get caught with no pistol or anything. That's what we do. You know, we, uh -huh. we catch our cut until, until, we, until we get rid of what we got, and, and then we give up and take the little fleeing and evading and all that. And all that. That's what we do. We've been doing mm -hmm. that forever. A 500-page report reveals Wood's blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit that night. Police say they also found him with a gun as well as crack cocaine. I had one more corner to turn, and I was gone. That was it. And I woke up in the hospital. In the collision summary of the investigative report, the officer wrote, it is with great sadness that I update this summary with the death of the operator of the police vehicle, First Division Officer Nicholas A. Rodman. He will be greatly missed.